first open Sims 4 Studio here. Go to Create 3D Mesh. Go to Cast. Go to Base Game. Go to Necklace. Adult for Age, Gender, Female. I'm going to choose the heart necklace here. Click next. So now what you're going to do is go to mesh, export mesh. Once you export the mesh, pull it up in Blender. Now that your file is up in Blender, go to add go to curve, go to circle. Press R on your keyboard to rotate. Hit R two times to rotate this way. To scale, press S. Rotate. Press G to grab. Then press S to scale it in. You want to get it close to the necklace shape as possible. The next thing you're going to want to do is click on tab to go into edit mode. So click tab on your keyboard or you can go down here and click on edit mode. After you click tab, use these to maneuver, to maneuver the shape to your liking. These are the hooks. So. This is one handle, you grab that handle, bring it down a little bit, and kind of imitate the necklace from Sims 4 Studio, just to help, help you out a little bit. Now that you have the shape, go down here, scoot this up right here, and then click on this little icon right here, the Bezier curve. Once you click on the Bezier curve, go to fill, click full, come down here to depth and make it as thick as you would like. For resolution, you could put one or two, whichever you prefer. So depth is what makes it smaller or fuller.
Now, to hide EA's mesh, come over here where you see S4 Studio Mesh 2 and this little eye right here, click it to hide it just to see how your necklace looks without that being in the way. So, let's see. Make sure it's not touching the skin too much. Otherwise, it will glitch. If you mess up, press Control Z to undo it. If you mess up, anything you mess up on, it's always control then Z to redo it. So, this, this is okay. Let me go down here a little bit. I'm going to make this a little smaller like that maybe maybe bring it up a little bit to like maybe 16 16 for depth is good enough for me but you can go as thick or as small as you would like with the chain So to get out of edit mode after you have shaped the curve the way that you would want, like it, go down here and click object mode. Now you can see it's starting to look like a necklace already. Do do do. gonna bring it up a little bit maybe right there Flip it over a little bit right there and that's that so the next thing you're gonna want to do is grab your image we're gonna get this Fendi logo image. I'll have this linked in the description below so you can download it. And what you're gonna wanna do with this image is go to, go to picksvg.com. Once you're in picksvg.com, go to upload a picture, get your Fendi logo here, press open and as you can see your logo is here but it's see-through so to change that go to filters go to ready to then you should see it turn black after you go to ready to click download SVG file Once you download your SVG file, we're going to go back into Blender. Once you go to Blender, go to File at the top. Click on File. Go to Import. Go to Vector Graphics SVG. Click on that. Go to Desktop and go to where you have your SVG file saved. Press Import SVG and you should see it right here. Change the color of the mesh. Go to this little circle right here. Go to diffuse. Click on the click on diffuse. Go up to white. That way you can see your mesh and you know what you're doing.
after you do that as you can see when you click on tab on your keyboard or go down here and press press edit mode you can see that it's a curve <laughs> so yeah it's not a mesh right now it's just a curve so basically you can manipulate the logo if you want to that's up to you but I'm going to use the logo as it is so I will be turning this into a mesh and I'm going to show you how to do that so get out of Adam mode press tab press alt C on your keyboard alt C mesh from curve so now when you go to edit mode you can see now it's a mesh to get rid of some of these vertices click on tab click on a press delete then go to limited dissolve and now you can see the verti the, some of the vertices have deleted make sure your mesh is selected then click E to make your mesh thicker so now you're going to want to click on ALT on your keyboard after you click on ALT Make sure you're clicking on the lines, click on the edges, press Alt, and then press Control E. Once you press Control E, press Mark to Scene. And you're going to want to do that around the whole shape. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Alt, Control E, Mark Scene. Now press A to deselect everything and it should look like this. Don't have to really worry about doing the bottom unless you want to, but I'm not going to do it. It's not necessary, really. Go back into object mode and it should look like this. Now I'm going to show you how to add texture to your logo so follow along with me this is the texture we're going to be using i will have this listed below in the description so make sure you download this and let's take it into blender so now to add texture you want to go up here at the top go to uv editing and you should see your mesh down at the bottom right here click on tab make sure you're in edit mode click A and then click U press unwrap so now you can see I unwrapped it over here press a to select all and then G to grab like this so you can move it over now open your text here so make sure you open your text down at the bottom go to the circle press new go to texture press new um, go to type press image or movie 
then as you can see you have the image logo down here click open go to your texture scroll down to the bottom where you see the word generated go to UV come over here where the UV is click on A to select all click G to grab and then to scale click S on your keyboard So scale it down and just place it where you want to press SX if you want to scale it over a little bit Get it the way that you want to scale it up. Press X, S, Y. So, so scale it to your liking. As you can see, now we have texture on our logo. So now what you're going to want to do is scale the text scale scale your logo up, press S to scale up. Then go to add mesh go to UV sphere here press S to scale down press tab to go into edit mode click on alt to select the lines like scene make sure you're in game logic Mark scene, press Alt, Control E, Mark scene. So now we're going to add texture on here as well. And I'm going to show you how to make this into like a diamond stud for our logo. Press A. Go to UV editing, press U, press U, press unwrap. So now you have it over here. Press SY to scale it this way. Press S to scale it down. Press this little circle up here, press new, then go to texture, press new, then go up here to type, press image or movie, then once you do that, click on open, and go to your texture. Go down to generate it and change it to UV. And go back over here and scale it down into the diamond section. Press A to unselect. Press L to select one at a time and bring it over press L bring it up G to grab bring it over press X to bring it this way And now 
now this is our little diamond ball now scale this down by pressing S bring it down Make sure it's not poking out at the bottom. So bring it up a little bit. Scale it down some more. So click this ball right here. Then press shift D on your keyboard and just repeat it all around the logo. to join all this together so click on B press B and you should see this pop up and then just select all of that press control J press 1 first and then press B then control J so make sure you have one already highlighted then press B 
then control J and now it's all together so now you can see it's joined so now we're gonna go back to our necklace here I think I'm gonna make this necklace a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna bring it up a little more. Little more. There. This is still a curve, so click on Alt C, then click on Mesh from Curve press tab and now you see it's a mesh so click on one of these lines make sure this line is highlighted click on control E mark scene so now let's add our texture go to UV editing Click A, click on U, unwrap. So here is our mesh unwrapped. Click on this little circle over here, press new, click on texture, press new, go to image or movie again press open go to Fendi necklace texture and come back over here and scale this down by pressing S on the keyboard so scale it down S Y to scale it that way, scale it down, and press tab. Make sure to view the texture, click on generate it, UV. And as you can see, press get it to your liking. Away. Okay, I like it like this. Now you can see the texture. Go back to game logic. Go back into game logic up here. So now we're going to add another circle mesh. We're going to go to curve, add circle again. Bring the circle up, scale it down, grab it over, G to grab, scale, S key, S key to scale down, go to the Bezier curve icon. Go to full for fill for depth. Make it as thick as you want or as small as you want. Um, resolution one. So it's still a it's still a curve right now. Click on R to rotate it. Click on R twice to bring it this way. Scale. G to grab. 
S to scale G so I make it a little thicker in depth so now I'm going to turn this into a mesh I'm going to press Alt C mesh from curve Try to get it in the middle. Press R twice to rotate. Scale up a little bit if you need to, if you want to. Because this is going to be the hook for our logo. Or in the middle. Press tab on the keyboard, press tab, or go down here and click on edit mode. Press your alt button, click on a line, click on control E again, mark scene. Go back into edit mode, press A, go back into UV editing up here. Then press U, then unwrap. So now you can see it's been unwrapped right here. Go to the circle, press new, texture, press new, clouds, image or movie for type. Change it from clouds to image or movie. Then go down to image, press open, and we basically get the same image as before. Make sure where you see generated, you turn it to UV. And then come back over here into your UV section and press S to scale it down. To scale it this way, more this way, press S, Y, then press S. Then put it on your texture by grabbing it, by pressing G to grab. And then scale it down. I should have made it a little thicker but you know it'll work for the video but yeah that's all you do it's pretty easy pretty simple press S to scale it down G to grab 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 it to the hook right here Press R to rotate and then try to connect it the best you can.
And there you have it. That's how you make your necklace. So, and now you're going to want to join all these together. So, press shift on your keyboard. Click on your Fendi logo. Click on your chain. Click on your hook. Then press Control J on your keyboard, and now it's all connected. As you can see, it's all one. So now I'm going to teach you guys how to weight paint the necklace before putting it into um, Sims 4 Studio. So now you're going to want to come over here to Sims 4 Studio Mesh. Click on your heart necklace. Click on it. Oh, wait, hold on. Click on your heart necklace. Matter of fact, change this to solid. So go down here where you see this little texture, change it to solid. So that way you can see what you're doing. Click on your heart necklace and then press Shift D to duplicate it. And then once you duplicate it, go over here to this one, S4 Studio Mesh 2.001. Click on the eye to hide it. Click on this one, S4 Studio Mesh 2. Press Tab and then press the Delete button and then click on Vertices. So after you do that, click on your necklace. Then click on the mesh over here you just deleted to join them together. So click on Studio Mesh 2, press Control J. So now they've been joined together. And as you can see over here in the in the little um, triangle shape you have spine B spine 2 B spine 1 B all those so now so now unhide your second one your second studio mesh necklace click on the eye to unhide it click on it go to spine 2 click on your necklace go to B spine 2 as well now click on the studio mesh necklace hold down the shift key then click on your necklace after you do that go to weight paint press T on your keyboard then go up here press add and then press transfer weights So now we're going to just do that for each one. So click on Studio Mesh, Spine 1. Now go to Spine 1. Click on Studio Mesh again. Hold down the shift. Click on your necklace. Go to Weight Paint. And then Transfer Weights. It looked like it already done it for me, but... If it hadn't done it for you already, just go to each one of these and click transfer weight. So yeah, that's how you do that. Now delete this because you no longer need it. Save your file. I saved my as Fendi necklace. And make sure Studio S4 Studio Mesh 1 is showing. So make sure the eye is on that. So it should only be these two. And now go to Texture. Go to Default. 
make sure the geometry type G E O M is set to in the make sure the type is set to G E O M geometry and then make sure the cut is zero 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 so four zeros should be set to zero 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 one your necklace and the other the first one studio mesh one should be set to four zeros so first one four zeros second one three zeros and a one for the cut and the type you get into s4 studio so now we're going to upload these two into s4 studio click save save your file then go to s4 studio go to import and import your mesh so now our necklace has uploaded into the sims 4 studio so now you're going to want to delete shadow make that blank for specular you can delete that so now import your image so go to fendi necklace textures go to necklace texture and import in the diffuse section and here is your necklace.